Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailer Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit improve the look and feel of your screens from the module screen flows. Now, before we begin with this unit challenge, you have to make sure you complete unit 4 challenge, add more options to your screen. Without that unit, you won't be able to complete this unit's challenge. So you have to make sure you complete that one before attempting this unit's challenge. Also, another thing that you have to make sure is you are attempting this unit's challenge in the same trailer playground in which you have completed unit four. So these are the pointers that you have to keep in mind before you begin with this unit's challenge. So let's quickly launch your trailhead playground and see what we have in this unit's challenge. So basically we are going to create or add a guidance to your to our flow new bot op. This is the same flow which we had created in the beginning of this module. So we are going to make another update in this unit challenge. So what basically we are going to add, we are going to add error message, add visibility component and some validations to our flow. So let's quickly launch our trailer playground I've done and go to your new bot op flow. So right now I'm here on this flow builder and here you have to go to this op field screen element. Now, if you remember, we have added estimated close date in the previous units challenge. And here we are going to add valid input in this date component for this date component so here we have valid input section open this and we are going to place the error message over here and what's the error message you can backdate an opportunity so copy this error message go back to your builder and paste this in this error message text area then here we have a formula when this error message should be displayed for our Est uh, estimated close date so it should be displayed when estimated close date is greater than or equal to today so how we can add this here first of all you have to search here estimated close date so here is it uh, here it is the date component on our screen element so select this and then we have to place greater than equal to today or place this today in all caps so this error message will appear whenever we do not fulfill this condition. So if at all we have placed any value in this estimated close date input text that let's say it's from the past, then in that case, this error message is going to appear that, hey, you are not fulfilling this formula criteria. Your estimated close date is from the past then in that case, this error will appear. So this is the very first thing that we are doing here. Then next is we have to add a display text component just below our next step component. And we are going to label it as next steps warning without spaces. So let's just go back. Here is our next step component. And from the left hand side, we are going to drag and drop display text below next step one. And we are going to name it as next step warnings without any spaces. Now for this one, we are going to add the text as well. You didn't select any next steps. Your manager may visit you to confirm your plan of action. So copy this text as well. Go back here and paste this in the text area. So as soon as you paste this text here, uh, you will see that this display text is showing the text uh, which, we play, uh, which we have placed in the text area. Now, the next thing is, uh, as you can see that this is showing some validity error over here and we do not want this error to appear all the time, only when we do not select any value from this next step checkbox options. So what you have to do is we have to set the visibility criteria for this display text, which we have placed. So this text should only be displayed only when our next step value is null so how we can set that so select this te display text and go to set component visibility over here when to display condition we are going to select all conditions are met as it is mentioned over here that we have to select this one and then we are going to add this criteria that whenever next step is null then only this should this display text component should be displayed so resource in our case is next step select this checkbox group component and operator will be is null global constant true so whenever next step is null click on done this 
text box uh, display text component should be visible so let's just click on done for this as well and we are going to save our changes let's see this in debug mode click on debug run so let's just name it as test op page will be need analysis account is burlington textile corps of america new or existing customer and selecting wrong grid one for now next step i'm not selecting any value and you can see you got this error here you didn't select any next steps your manager may visit you to come confirm your plan of action so in order to make this error disable or this display text should not be visible to the end user you will have to select this value from this checkbox group as soon as you select the, the error message has gone and if i'll just deselect it you can see it has appeared again so let's just select values here now as for close date as you can see it's uh, right now from the future 25th of november 23 we have to change it to some date uh, from the past let's just say i select date from uh, july 5th of july and estimated amount i'll give out any value here now as soon as you click on next this estimated close date is going to display you the error that you can backdate an opportunity so let's just click on next again and there you go you can't backdate an opportunity so this validation error got reflected over here but as soon as you select the date from today or maybe from the future let's say 7th of september this error will disappear but before that make sure you select account value as it has been deselected on clicking of next button now let's click on next again now this time we were able to successfully pass all the validations and component visibility criteria so this is what we are doing here in this challenge that we are adding some of the guidance to our flow by adding error message or setting the visibility to our component and uh, that's how you can proceed with this the only thing left is you have to activate your flow module that's all now finally this is the last unit and we are going to see whether we have passed this there you go this unit as well as this module is completed see you in the next video with another unit or module till then take care thank you so much